It can create algae blooms. It can choke off oxygen. Uh, in the ocean. A new study commissioned by the World Wildlife Fund Canada says 1.54 billion litres of grey water was generated by ships off the coast of British Columbia in 2017. And it says most of it came from cruise ships. And that makes sense when, when you look at it. There's many more people on board cruise ships than there are on container ships or cargo ships. And so each person generates a certain level, an average certain level, which is what we looked at. Now, grey water is essentially anything that goes down the drains and not a toilet. The WWF says it can contain grease, oil, flame retardants, disinfectants, fecal coliform and microplastics. Andrew acknowledges that ships have limits on how much they can actually store and estimates that most ships run out of capacity after two or three days. He says more record keeping is needed of when and where grey water is dumped, as well as for more ships to install and properly Properly maintain onboard filtration systems. The most recent estimate from the Cruise Lines International Association has about 60% of ships worldwide operating these kind of systems. That has to be 100%. We can't remain at 60%. Meanwhile, others say the study is focusing in the wrong place. Nobody has ever come forward and said there's an impact from this ship, there's an impact from this boat. It's always the supposition that there might be. Well, there could be, it may be possible. That's Troy Vassos, an adjunct professor in UBC's Department of Civil Engineering in the Environmental Engineering Group. He describes the pollution risk from traveling ships discharging their gray water as relatively insignificant compared with what's coming out of our own municipal water systems. Now, when a ship travels, it's traveling at typically, well, in this case, they can't discharge unless it's greater than six knots. But the dilution that occurs, the mixture of background water, is 50,000 to one, whereas an outfall from, say, a municipality into marine waters is typically about 100 to one, with some secondary dilution that might expand that to 1,500 to one. Now, the WWF says it plans to continue looking into gray water dumping in the future to see if it's increasing or decreasing. Both experts agree being more careful about what goes down the drain is easier than trying to clean it back up later on. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.